Welcome back to a brand new sniping filter video. Today we have got some very good filters. I've just picked up an Inform David for 22 and a half and he's going to insta sell at 27. So this next filter boys that I'm going to show you works incredibly well. So stick around. If you guys are wanting to build a better team like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Then look no further than u7buy.com. They sell cheap and reliable foot 22 coins and they also sell foot accounts this year. So if you're interested, click the link in the top line of the description and use code MUZZ for 5% off at checkout. Yes lads and welcome back to a brand new sniping filter video today we have got a bit of a mixture as always we've got some like cheaper filters some more expensive ones I was actually hoping some fodder prices were going to go up some 85s 86s etc because of the flashback canter 86s actually went down like pretty much all 86s went down a lot of 85s went down uh, I think Harry Kane a few like 90 rates went up a couple okay so in terms of filters to do with the canter SBC there's actually not much but I found a few brand new filters that I've never recommended before that are working very good got some examples as well boys that David is insta so like I said I picked him up for 22k on a snipe and he sold for 27 and as you guys can see I'll show you some of the other filters in today's video as well appreciate the support on the previous videos absolutely insane as always if we could hit 100 likes that'd be sick and subscribe if you're new so into the first filter boys we are literally just going to go Canada we're going to go 10 to to get rid of all the rares so if you go 10k all the like bronzes, golds and stuff will pop up. So go 10 to 50 and then from here, you're just going to find the cheapest. So as you guys can see, Jonathan David, I could have probably sold him for a little bit more, but Jonathan David's about 27 to 50 um, and he gets listed a lot, boys. He really does. And then you've also got Davies, who's like a couple K more, so you make some good profit on him. Uh, the tax on here is just under 1,500 coins, so you could go 1,500 under. Uh, so you go back here. Uh, or, or even 250 less it's up to you guys and yeah i was sniping for not much time at all and we hit a david so i'll have a quick bash here let's see if we can get a few snipes 25 oh my god that was seconds someone just lifted uh, davies with an anchor on straight away and we've missed it i was actually quite quick there as well 23 oh my word i was not expecting to hit one that good this early We've just hit a David for 23k, so almost the same as we got him last time. And he's got a position change on him, so I'm not sure if he's going to be worth much more with a position change. Let's have a look. Uh, with a position change on him, we're going to have to go special. Uh, so, 27.5, that, that one's going for, and it's just been listed. So, I might list it for the exact same price, 27.5. We have made some very nice profit. Honestly, boys, I'm so surprised how often this gets listed. I obviously missed the Davies. We would have made very nice coins on the David as well. On the Davies, got the buffs on the exact same Davies. But we strike the David, 27 and a half. I could maybe sell it for a little bit more, but we'll go 27 and a half with a position change on him. Unreal mid tier budget sniping filter to start off the video, boys. Okay, over to the next filter, boys. Right, so we're going to go over to La Liga. This is yet again another brand new filter that I've never recommended before. We're going to go to La Liga Gold Rare and we're going to go to Uruguay. So there's two players to snipe between here and they're very, very similar price. I think Suarez could be in this filter as well. He's the jackpot, I guess, so there's three. As so you've got Valverde, who's a couple K. He's at 3K, I think. And there's also Jimenez. Jimenez is the more likely one to pop up. He's 2.8. And Valverde is like 200 coins more, I think. He was. Maybe he's gone up a little bit. 100 coins or something. So how much Valverde? Valverde, there he is. So he's like 3.2-ish. Uh, so not much difference at all. Very little tax. About 150 coins tax on these. Uh, they've gone down a little bit uh, the Jimenez is which is a bit of a shame but hopefully they go up again uh, but away we go we'll get some examples for this I have managed to snipe a few Valverdes we made about 800 coins profit I'll show you guys uh, the, the ones that have sold but yeah let's see if we're going to get a nice snipe here 2k already nice so we've uh, sniped uh, Jimenez for 2, 2, 2k jeez I can't speak he was going for 2.7 earlier I was selling him for 2.7 looks like he's going to sell Oh, slowly for 2.6 so i'll sell him slowly for 2.6 if he sells in this video i'll, sh I'll show you guys that he sells uh, let me quickly just show you some of the sales i made earlier i was sniping like a couple hours ago i'm recording this video a couple hours later so as you guys can see they sold pretty instantly earlier as well so just check the price they'll go up and down a little bit by 100 or 200 coins so jimenez is and i sniped one valverde as well so we actually got a bit of luck with a valverde i sniped that for like 2.3 or something like that so we made about seven eight hundred coins after tax so i'd love to see it so very nice little low budget filter that. Okay, before we do jump in to the next filter, they have both managed to sell. David took about 10 minutes to sell. Him and I sold pretty fast to be fair. So maybe I could have sold him even slowly, slowlier. 
I don't know if that's a word, but uh, I could have sold him for about 2x7. But there you go. Both of them have sold. Love to see it. So let's jump into the next one. This is going to be another low budget filter, but working very effective because Saul has actually gone up in price. Uh, so we're going to go Gold Rest Spanish, and this will work even better if Aspilicueta goes up a little bit in price. So he's about 1.3. Uh, Saul, I think, is about 1.6. About 1.6 might have gone up even more and I was picking up a couple of cells I'm actually going to show you a clip I clipped it from early when I was sniping uh, so I'll get a couple of examples now in fact I'll show you the, the, some of the snipes we got earlier so it's only 100 coins tax so it's between Aspilicueta and Saul so here we do have the clip um, I got back to back souls it's not anything absolutely insane but we picked a couple of souls up very quick into sniping oh I think that's, yeah, 850 there. I missed the first part. I clipped it quite late. That's a, that's the problem. So we got the first sold for 850, sold it for 1.6. Got another one for 750 straight after, sold it for what, 1.5, 1.6, I think I sold it for. Am I going to sell it now? I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, very nice profit. Almost double my coins there. Yeah, we sold it for 1.5. So almost double my coins. And yeah, just a very good filter. If you're Aspen you're making a couple hundred coins. But if you're Saul, which people do on the list, you're making almost double your coins so love to see it right for this next filter some of you might not like this filter but i'm going to recommend it anyway so you can only make like max over a thousand coins just over because of the min buy now but it pops up very very often and i like it there's there's little competition there's three cards you could well there's actually several cards but there's three cards that are most likely to pop up because they are identical prices so you're going to go 10 to 50 to get rid of all the low rated cards Get out, the, uh, get out the filter. Then from here, you're just going to find the cheapest. So the cheapest right now, pretty much they're all the same price. So you've got Dybala in there. You've got Sergio Aguero. Aguero's actually gone up. And you've also got Di Maria in there. Um, wow, Aguero has gone up. I was selling him for 12k. There's quite a few Agueros up for uh, 12k earlier. So he's gone up 750. Looks like Di Maria's gone up 750. And Dybala looks like he's about 12, 12k-ish. Okay, so this gets listed very often, boys. Uh, so very little tax. It's about 600 coins tax. So go 600 coins under and away you go. And obviously you can't hit insane profit on this. You can't get like 3k under snipes. But it gets listed very often and you can get, make some good profit, like a 1,000 coins a card. So I'll get a couple examples there, boys, and I'll show you some of the cards that I did sell. I was picking up a lot of Agueros earlier. Oh, 11k. There we go. So we have... Oh, that's actually even better. So... We've picked up another Agu Aguero, and as you guys saw, he was selling for 12750 I think there was a couple up. So, shall I sell it for 12750 Right, let's sell it slowly. I was going to list it for 125 but see, like, there you go. Obviously, you can't get, like, 3K under snipes, but you're still making, what, I've made, like, what, 1,000 coins? Maybe a little bit more than 1,000 coins there. So, let me have a quick look. Let's see Aguero. Was there a few Aguero? Oh, God, I should have listed it for 125 Wow, the supply of Agueros are flew in. But, yeah, either way, hopefully he does sell. It might, might take an hour for him to sell, but beautiful so as you guys could see earlier on we did end up selling him actually for under 12k so he was selling for 11750 so the fact he's gone up in price like a thousand coins makes the filter even better but yeah we're selling them too earlier this guy's this aguero is going to take a little bit longer to sell because i should have listed it for a little bit cheaper but yeah either way still very nice profit anyway let's jump into the next one so we're going to go back to a cheaper filter and then we'll finish this video off with a very big filter so if you want a big filter as well We'll put that at the end of the video. So we're going to go Gold Rare, uh, Premier League English Goalkeeper. Right now the cheapest one, about 1 1.4, um, which is very nice indeed. So they've actually gone up 100 coins since I was last sniping. And then you've also got Pickford as well. Is there anyone else? I think it's just Pickford and Pope. Uh, they both get equally listed. So there's not one that gets uh, listed more than others. It's literally the exact same. So you could, you could sell them both at probably 1.4 a piece. So we're going to snipe at 1.2. Let's get a couple of examples. 1,100 already. Wow, we lost it. 1.1. Oh my word, what the hell is going on? Get off my filter. I think someone's on my filter. Get off. Come on, please. There we go. 950 for Pickford. Pickford's actually worth a little bit more as well. So I could sell him slowly for 1.5. We'll get him gone straight away for 1.4. So a nice couple hundred coins uh, profit after tax because it's only like, I think it's less than 100 coins tax on these cards. Love to see it. Nice little Pickford to start off. And one of the Agueros did end up selling, as you guys can see, the 12750. Sold quicker than I thought, to be fair. And this Pickford should sell pretty instantly as well because he's the cheapest one on the market. So yeah, the Pickford did end up selling, and as you guys could see, the ones that we got earlier, we actually managed to pick up loads, and I was sniping for a couple minutes. To be fair, most of the filters I've shown you, I was sniping for a couple minutes, 
and look this is how much we got for it so love to see it nice little bit of profit and to end off this video we are going to end with a big filter boys so if you've made it to this part of the video by the way like yesterday please do leave a comment I wear sun cream while sniping. If you have made it to the video, put that comment and I know you've made it to this part of the video because not many people make it to this part of the video. So, hey, absolute legends if you've made it this far. Appreciate it. Anyway, let's jump into the final filter. We are going to go over to PSG. This is quite a specific filter. Uh, so we're going to jump over to Defender, Gold Rare. As always, the min buy now might be slightly different on PlayStation. Sometimes they just do different price ranges. But on Xbox, you're going to go 90,500. That's to get rid of Kim Pembe. So if you go 90,000, Kim Pembe will pop up. So get rid of Kim Pembe and literally find the cheapest from here. So you've got Marquinhos in this filter and you've also got uh, Hakimi. And they're almost identical. There's like a 2k difference. Um, so where you go, there's not much tax. About 5k tax, if that. Uh, so about 5k under one, one, 102. Uh, it's going to go about, what, 97. We'll have to be more patient, as always, with these more expensive ones. But, hey, you can make some very nice profit. 5K cards, like, yeah, just the more patient, the better, really. So that is a high-budget filter for you boys. So anyway, that is today's video done. If you guys have used all the filters, do let me know which one's working best for you. I've had a lot of luck with a lot of the cheaper ones. I was honestly so surprised with the Canadian one. Because I, I, I often look through some sniping filters, I give them a tryout, and if they don't fully work... Obviously, I won't use them, uh, but it works so much better better than I, I actually thought. I didn't think David or Alfonso Davies uh, would pop up that often, but they actually do. And we've made the most profit on the, these Davies. We've made like 5k a card on one of them. I think we made like, what, 4k and four another. So, love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. So, as always, boys, if you guys could drop a like, 100 likes would be sick. I will be back once again tomorrow with another sniping filter video. We do these every single day, bringing you some new filters every day. Love to see it. So if, if that's not a reason to sub, I don't know what it is. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another video. I'm out. Goodbye.